Hi guys, it's Megan Moore from thebeautysnoop.com. Uh, today we are doing a vintage curl tutorial. Um, this is a smooth style. It's going to be great for formal nights out, for weddings. It's really pretty simple and easy classic. And the tool that we're using today is the Numi uh, Reverse Wand. It goes from 25 to 13 millimeters around, so it's going to give you uh, some great diversity in your curls. And after you watch this video, if you're on YouTube, you want to click over to my blog so that you can see um, images of how we are wrapping for this tool. Um, and that's going to give you um, the better results to get the smoother crown on top and then the more ringletty style, like the vintage look below. So keep watching and I'll teach you how to do it. Just brush through your hair, make sure everything is tangle free and smooth for any vintage look you want uh, your base to be really smooth. So that may mean flat ironing first, unfortunately, if you've got frizz or if you are a naturally curly person. So we're going to start and I always start with a piece that's right over my eye. And this is the piece that's going to be wrapping away from the face and we want it to wrap kind of down over the forehead for these vintage looks. So we're going to take um, a section, it really depends on your bangs and how, or, or your front layers, how wide they are, but uh, this is about an inch section. And I'm going to take my wand and I'm going to put it back behind this piece and then I'm going to roll with a flat wrap at the top first. And then as I go back down, it's going to twist. Um, that's going to give you a combo roll, and we talk about that on my blog, the different looks that that's going to get. And in the bangs, um, with the vintage roll, I keep it on longer because I do want these tighter. If I'm doing beachy waves, loose waves, I'm not going to leave this very long. But for the vintage rolls, I do want it to be really kind of boingy at first. We'll comb it out later to relax it. So you can see that this is going to go across my forehead in that direction, and then it wraps away from the face. So we'll keep going in this pattern, and then as we come around the other side, we'll be rolling towards our face. Um, we're going to keep doing the same thing as we move back. Um, so I'll start with the front piece that's closest to my face. And then since it's on the left side of my head, I'm going to use my right hand to hold the iron um, so that as I wrap away from it, I'm less likely to burn myself because both hands are out of the way. Um, so same technique. It's going to be a flat wrap at the base where it's smaller and then it's going to transition to a spiral wrap as it moves down. Okay, so I'm switching over to the soft side of my part, which means it's like the smaller side. It doesn't have as much hair. This side is going to curl towards my face so that the curls go in the same direction all the way around. Um, so I'm going to start with that front piece again. And because now I'm working on the right side of my head, I'm going to pick up the iron with the left hand so that I don't burn myself. So I'm going to flip it upside down, put it right in here, and this is one that I want a little closer. It needs to start higher on the head, so I am going to put it closer to the scalp. And then it's the same thing, flat wrap at the top, and then it turns into a spiral wrap as you move down. Hold it for a few seconds. This hair is finer by your face, so you always want to maybe give that um, a little bit less time than other places. And then twist it a little as it cools just to make sure that it keeps going the same direction and you can see that this is rolling towards my face. Okay, same thing, I'm gonna move to the section right behind. Smooth that out so it's looking good and I'm going to hold this piece with my right hand and then pick up the wand with my left hand so that I don't burn myself. Um, it's gonna go in front of the hair on this side and it is gonna be pretty close to the scalp because it is a high curl and then as we move back we'll start a little bit lower down. Okay so now that all the curls are in place and they've cooled we're ready to brush them out to move on with our vintage look. So you can use, um, there's a couple different brushes that you could use. A board bristle is a great one or a really nice paddle brush works for me. Um, so you can kind of play around with it and, and I actually will kind of bounce back and forth between the two of them. So I'm just going to start by brushing this out and really kind of loosening it up off my scalp too. I don't want it to be like stuck down to my head. So I'll just kind of loosen that up by lifting up at the scalp. And it's okay if it gets kind of 
froey and frizzy we're gonna go back and smooth it and tame it so we don't need to worry about that so once I've got it all brushed out and it's kind of bigger and you can see the looser waves more I'm gonna switch over to my boar bristle brush and this is what I'm going to use to really kind of finish the look so this curl that comes across your forehead I really want that to to be a statement across my forehead so I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to tease it um, by pulling it down over my forehead and then teasing up underneath of it just to like give it some lift there and also to get it to stay together in one solid clump so I'll smooth that top surface but I really want to keep the cushioning underneath to hold it together because I don't want just like one piece to fall down into my face. Um, the vintage looks were, were very solid, so they stayed together. So if I don't tease it, I'm going to have pieces that kind of come apart. So I'm going to make sure that I tease those into a pretty solid cushion together so that uh, it's not going to fall apart. So I'll tease that nice and tight up to the root, and then I'll take that same brush and just gently um, comb over to smooth it out. We don't want it to look frizzy or teased at all, but just um, really nice. And so that's going to pull down right across my forehead to give me that really nice vintage um, wave pattern that's going to start in the front. So I'm going to get these to kind of roll back and look really nice and um, you can see that really pretty kind of wave pattern that's happening there and then um, so sometimes I will take this and I will turn it into more of a faux bob and pin it up so that it's consistent with that vintage look Marilyn Monroe kind of short bob um, other times I will leave it long and, and just have it be kind of a hybrid between the vintage look and kind of current today's looks too so it kind of depends so if I am going to leave it long I like to put everything into one kind of solid curl and rewrap it one more time just at the bottom so that they all really stick together so I'll put it in one big curl and I'm wrapping this under um, as opposed to flipping it out so I'll let that heat through because it's a big section you're going to kind of have to watch it use one of your other fingers to to tap on the wider sections of hair make sure they're cooked through and then sometimes if I really want it to kind of be bouncy I'm going to take that same section wrap it around my finger while it's still hot I mean it is hot so be careful you don't want to burn yourself and then I'll take a one of my alligator clips and clip across that round section there you can see to hold it there as it cools so we'll let that one cool as I work on the other side and then I'm going to take my spray um, and this is really where the vintage look is going to come is really in the finishing so take your boar bristle and smooth it we don't want flyaways we don't you know vintage look was very sleek like I said so that's why you need to start out with straight hair um with the vintage looks there's a lot of different things you can do to finish we talked about the faux bob I love to throw in like pearls or brooches for this look just to make it feel even more authentic um so these little pearl bobby pins are really cute I like to use these for more formal looks like this I got these at forever 21 so they are great price that Probably, I think they were like about four bucks for a pack that has, I think, six different styles. Um, so with this one, you could do it either way. I'm going to put it on my soft side. Um, I like the way that this heavy side is rolling back and staying back out of my eye. So I'm going to do it here. You can do it in an opposite way. And then I like to put it right at the corner of my eye. So I'll pull some of that hair back and then just slip a few of these in just to give it... Um, that final finishing touch for a nice vintage fill and stacked bobby pins are totally in right now so not only are you on trend for modern looks but you're also really cute for this kind of great Gatsby um, season that is among us so I'm gonna finish there with those cute little pearls these are also really pretty for wedding looks so if you have a wedding coming up anytime soon and so we'll get those secure in place so you can see the final product I hope you guys like it I hope you're inspired to try it 
Um, it's really fun. It is not a lot of work, super easy. And I've got links below to where you can pick up these Numi wands. Um, I've got a really awesome site that is carrying them right now for such a good deal. So um, make sure that you're clicking over there and go over to my blog to look at more detailed images so that I can help you with achieving this vintage look. Thanks guys.